Hey, this is Mr. Barr, and this is multi-step equations. Let's get going here. Goal, I can solve linear equations in one variable. Why, math has its own language and rules. By solving equations, I learned the language of math and how it works. This is the second time that we are doing equations. We're just going to take them up a notch this time and make it a little bit more complex and give you a couple extra tools to use. Okay, the math rainbow. We have so many different things that we can do to solve equations. So let's make a tree map. Here we go. There it is. Can I make this any bigger? I can't. And my hand is messed up. I was chopping wood and messed up my hand. OK. So solving equations. And we're going to do a tree map. And we've got how many different things on that map? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different things that we can do to solve equations. Uh, you know what? Let's start with their name and the topic. So name. And I'm going to put the topic here with um, solving, let's see, multi-step equations. Good. And for my thinking map, solving equations. with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different literally doodly do's that we can do to this thing. And I'm going to have to use a smaller pen here. So I know I can do add to both sides, subtract from both sides, multiply both sides, divide both sides, distribute, combine terms, and something else. What am I going for here? Add to both sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many do I have up here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I changed it once I started making this. All right, so these are the ones we're going to go with. So add to both sides. Subtract from both sides. Multiply both sides. Divide both sides. And then we get into distribute and combine terms. And this one down at the end. Oh, you can't see what I'm writing. Well, it's right there on the screen anyways. Add to both sides, subtract from both sides, multiply both sides, divide both sides, distribute, and combine terms. Those are not in any specific order. We will put them in order in just a second when we do a flow chart or flow map. Before we do this, I'm just going to give you some examples of what adding to both sides would look like. So if I had x minus 5 minus 4 equals 10, this would be a good example of adding to both sides. plus 4, plus 4. Subtracting from both sides, if I had x plus 8 equals 7, I would go minus 8, minus 8. Multiplying both sides, this one usually goes with fractions
So if I had x over 3 equals 20, I would multiply both sides by 3. And those 3's would cancel out. You know, let's, let's show the canceling that would happen on all these. Cancel, 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 cancel. Dividing both sides, if I had 3x equals 9, dividing by 3, dividing by 3. Distribution is jumping the wall, so if I had 2, 4x plus 3, here it is jumping the wall. And combining terms would be 2x plus 3x becomes 5x. So we kind of have a tree map that shows the, the basic rules of this game that we're playing called solving equations. Now I said earlier, these are not in any specific order, but I'm now going to give you an order that for the most part will work. So we're gonna do a flow map here. And this is the sequence that for the most part will work when we're solving equations. So we're gonna start with I'm going to have four boxes here. I'll put the boxes in once I write it. I'm going to highly recommend that you start with the distribution step, which I'm pointing to right here. So distribute. And then combine terms. and then add, subtract. And then it's usually going to be a divide, 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 multiply. So those are the steps in the nice order. So we'll start with a distribution step, go to combining terms, Go to add, subtract, and then do a multiply, divide. Okay, so with those steps, we're going to solve some problems. And we'll probably do distribute, combine terms, add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Here's the math rainbow. Distribute, combine terms. And we'll do this one in our notes. And then I'll probably do some just for demonstration. So let's solve 2 3x plus 4 equals 26. And looking at my flow map, I know that I would distribute first. So let's do the distribution. That's going to give me 6x plus 8. There is no combining of terms. The next thing in my flow map would be to add or subtract. So my add or subtract step is going to be subtracting 8 from both sides, minus 8, minus 8. That's going to give me 6x equals 18. My next step would be the multiplier divide step, and it's going to be a divide step most of the time. Divided by 2, oh, divided by 2, divided by 6. Come on, Mr. Barr, divided by 6, divided by 6. That's a 6. These cancel out, leaving with x equals 3. So just following that flow map, 
distribution, combining terms, there is no combining, and then divide, uh, subtracting from both sides, dividing both sides. Let's do one more in our notes. That one's got combining terms. You know, this one I'm just going to do with you, and then I'm going to find a better one to do in our notes. So this one. All right, is there any distribution? No distribution. This is done. Combining terms, yes. That combines to become an 8x plus 9 equals negative 23. Combining is done. Adding or subtracting, I'm going to subtract the 9 from both sides. 8x equals negative 32. Same sign, add and keep. We did these. And now dividing both sides by 8, x equals negative 4. Okay, this one just has distribution, so let's just do a distribution one. I would like to distribute, so here's the distribution step. That's going to give me negative 8x plus 20 equals 4. There is no combining. I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. It's going to give me negative 8x equals negative 16. So that's done, and now divide both sides by negative 8. x equals a positive 2. Ah, this is a good one. This one's going into our notes. This one includes everything. It has the distribution step. It has the combining like term step. Then it's going to have probably a subtraction step and a division step. So this one is going to go into your notes. Three, three x plus three, plus three x equals forty five. I look at my flow map, it tells me to distribute first. So here's my distribution step. That's going to give me nine x plus nine equals three x. Oh, plus 3x, excuse me, plus 3x equals 45. Now I'm going to do my combining like terms step. Let's combine those two. That's going to give me a 12x plus 9. Next step in my flow map would be either an adding or subtracting step. In this case, it's going to be a subtraction step. Minus 9, minus 9. That takes me to 12x equals 36. And now I'm at the multiplier divide step. In this case, it's a divide step. And that's going to take me to x equals 3. Okay, ooh, one with, this guy has a distribution and a combining of terms. Let's do that one. So I'm going to distribute, you know, I'm going to do it over here. So half of 2 is 1, so I have 1, oops. Half of 2 is 1, so I have 1, I cannot write there? Huh, I can't, oh. Oh, it's just hard to see because it's blue on blue. Let's try this. Okay, so half of 2 is 1, so I have 1x. Half of 4 is 2, plus 2, plus 3x equals 15. There's my distribution. Let's add these two guys together. That's going to give me a 4x plus 2 equals 15. Now I'm going to do... a subtraction step, minus 2, minus 2. So 4x equals is that 13 divided by 4, divided by 4. I was not anticipating a weird answer like that. 
but that's my answer. 13 fourths. Did I mess that up? Let me just check my work. X plus 2 plus 3, X equals 15. Yep, I think that's my answer. And let's do one more. Ooh, this one looks crazy. Let's do it. All right, multiplying by a negative one third is like multi um, is the same as dividing by a negative three. So six divided by negative three is negative two. And negative nine divided by negative three is a positive three. So let's combine the 3x and the negative 2x. 3x minus 2x is just x. And let's combine the 3 and the 15. That becomes 15, 16, 17, 18. Subtract 18 from both sides. Negative 8 equals x, right? 10 minus 18 is negative 8. x equals negative 8. Cool. And that's my last one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.